Hey everyone, it's Liv. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite indie brands, Baby Bat Beauty, and I'm going to show you how to get this really cute fall look, so stay tuned. Well, hello there. Today, I'm going to be doing just a basic everyday look, and I'm going to be highlighting one of my favorite brands, my favorite indie brand, uh, Baby Bat Beauty which is a really awesome brand. They have tons of different colors, really awesome lipsticks. They have liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, glosses, highlighters, shadows, uh, pretty much everything. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna try to use as much Baby Bat as possible and just do a really cute fall look. Fall is my favorite time of the year. I like the colder weather. I like going apple picking and all that cute stuff. And I love Halloween, of course. So I'm gonna start off, as I always do, with the primer. This is a Cover FX Blurring Primer, just to even everything out um, and have a nice smooth base. And now for my foundation, I'm starting to shed my summer skin and get back to my normal skin tone, so I'm gonna go with the lighter of uh, the two that I have, this is Fair 25 of the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, which is, as of right now, my favorite foundation of all time. So I'm just gonna blend that in with a damp beauty sponge. This is a Sephora one. And now that that's all blended, I'm just going to brighten and add a little bit of dimension with this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is the color Light 10. Now I'm going to bake and set everything with the RCMA No Color Powder. So while that's baking, I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Um, I recently kind of wanted to add some liftage to my brow bone because I'm kind of self-conscious <laughs> about the way that my eyebrows are kind of heavy, so I plucked off the bottom tail of my eyebrows, and now I kind of draw them up. Um, when I put them on, I just add a little flick to the end of the tail, and it kind of gives me some more space here, which creates a natural little lift. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm just gonna set that in place with the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel. It's like a little brow mascara. Just off all the powder with a big fluffy brush. So since my face is now like flat, white, and ghostly, <laughs> I wanna add a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium light. And I'm just gonna use this middle one because that's the coolest tone, so I feel like it makes the most natural shadow for my skin. And I'm gonna use this Royal Langnickel Contour Brush. Now I'm gonna blend that out with this sculpting brush from Real Techniques. And when I do contour, I always blend upwards instead of downwards, so it doesn't look like I have a beard. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush, but I wanna keep it subtle because I want this to kind of be like a lighter, paler look. Um, I'm gonna use the color Desert Rose by Ofra. 
I really like this blush. It's very natural and it's perfect for fall. So now that I have my base all done, I'm gonna start in on the eyes. And I had this idea for a warm, smoky eye, but with a bright lavender purple cut crease. So I thought that'd be cute. So for the warm, smoky eye, I'm gonna be using the colors Doomsday and Blunderbuss from Baby Bat Beauty. So this is Doomsday, which is like a perfect mustard color. And this is Blunderbuss, which is a warm, almost like a deep orange brown. I'm gonna start light and work my way to dark. I'm gonna start as I always do with my eyes, which is to use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming Potion, the original kind. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lids and then I'm gonna set with a white eyeshadow. I'm gonna set it with uh, this bone shade from my Saucebox Etude palette. I always like to set my eyeshadow primer just to make it smooth and have everything blend easier. And for this, I use a nice fluffy brush. This is a Real Techniques setting brush. Now I'm gonna go on with a nice round tapered blending brush. This is a Morphe M505. And I'm just gonna pop that mustard color um, doomsday all into my crease and around my eyes. And you can see how amazingly pigmented that is. I don't even have to dip my brush into the shadow more than once to get just a full complete wash of color. I don't know, since I started trying indie eyeshadows, it's kind of really changed my viewpoint on the big industry, bigger brands and the quality of what they put out versus someone who creates something from scratch. And I'm just gonna grab this Luxie 239 and put some of this on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take the same brush and dip into Blunderbuss, which is a nice chocolatey warm brown color. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid and blend it into the mustard. And you can just see how easily these blend. I barely have to do any work, which is great. I think their these shadows are really soft, really blendable. I highly recommend them. Um, so now, plot twist, I'm gonna do a little cut crease uh, on the inner corners, but I'm gonna use this beautiful shimmery lavender eyeshadow that I got from Apocalyptic Beauty, which is another amazing indie brand that I love. So I'm gonna use this Luxie Flat Shader just to put to cut the crease with uh, the same concealer I was using before, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm just gonna do that in the inner part of my eye. And actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna tell you about this eyeshadow. So Apocalyptic Beauty has a monthly, I think it's called Look of the Month, and each month is a different theme. And they all come with, I think, three or four eyeshadows or glitters or little eye products and one lipstick, and they all match the theme. So this is for the Sorceress theme. They're so good, like the colors are so unique. I really love getting it every month. And now to just apply the eyeshadow while the concealer is still sticky. I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of Medusa's makeup setting spray and I'm gonna use this and just dip into that purple shadow and tap it all over my eyelids. I'm gonna use this darker purple color that also came in the uh, Sorceress collection. Like kind of a deep, I wish I could show you but I don't wanna dump it out. It's, it's a deep 
indigo purple. And I'm going to do that on the inner quarters. So now that we have that nice gradient uh, shimmery purple lavender lid with the pretty mustard crease color, I'm going to take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and the color Torch, which is a nice true orange, and I'm going to put that in the lower waterline. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some of this Wander Beauty on Lash Mascara, which is my favorite. Yeah, and then after that I'm going to do a nice big wing eyeliner. So now that I put mascara on, I'm gonna use this Pretty Vulgar, the ink liner to do some wings. And I personally prefer a nice black gel liner. And also this is one of the only black eyeliners I have that I can do wings with that actually dries matte, which to me is a plus. Now for my highlight, to go along with the pretty mystical purple lids, I'm going to use this beautiful highlight called Mermaid Dreams from Baby Bat. And as you can see, it has white and blue and pink and purple all in it. And all together combined, it, it's like the perfect match for this color. It's just like a, a magical purple cloud color. I'm gonna use this MAC 159 brush, which is great at picking up shimmery highlight. And to combine all three colors, I kinda of just swirl it around like that, tap it off, and go for it. So now for lipstick, I'm going to go with my favorite color from Baby Bat Beauty, which is Bonfire Babe. It's this beautiful orange nude, and I think it's going to go perfectly with this um, mustardy brown transition color in my crease. Before I put this on, I'm going to use this lip liner from NYX. The color is Ever. It's just kind of like a basic um, nude lip liner. I use it for a lot of different things. It just helps me to have a line there so I know where to go with the lipstick. I'm just gonna finish this off with a quick spritz of Medusa's Makeup Setting Spray. So that's the look. I hope you enjoyed my little review of Baby Bat Beauty. They're one of my favorite indie brands. Um, and if you wanna try them out, use the code IndieMood at checkout to get some money off. And yeah, I hope you like the look. If you do, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.